morning from me and the cat. <laughs> We're in here because Kevin's watching TV in the other room because he's sick, unfortunately. But this is like a nice change of scenery. We have a cat and a gritty doll in the background. So today we are doing a preview workout from Shanti's new program, Dig Deeper. Also, I spelled his name wrong yesterday. It was written down wrong in the comments, so that's my bad. When I always think of Shanti, I think like, P90X, Insanity. I don't know if that's the same person, but those are all Beachbody brands. So that's like where my brain went. It seems like Dig Deeper is actually a weightlifting program. So according to the website, Dig Deeper is a new program dropping in Beachbody or Body, sorry, they rebranded. We'll talk about that in a second. On December 18th, it's an intense weightlifting program for all levels designed to build strength, confidence, and unbelievable physical results with a total body recomposition. So essentially it's a weightlifting program, which definitely makes me feel better that I'm not gonna be doing like an Insanity workout. Let's really quickly talk about Beachbody, AKA Body with their new rebrand so that you understand why I had such a visceral reaction yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to call it Beachbody because I find that this rebrand to Body is simply their way of avoiding any of the negative claims that were made against them in the past. And we're gonna straighten out the camera now. So Beachbody is basically an MLM which is problematic in itself. It has a lot of different brands underneath of it. And many of the higher up coaches have a huge history of promoting disordered eating habits, allegedly. And it's just one of those companies that tries to trick you in every way possible. Marketing claims, selling tactics. I'm not gonna do a deep dive into Beachbody in this video. There are plenty of other creators that have done that. So you can just do a quick Google search. But long story short, they do not pass my ethical code. Now, just because I don't believe in their business ethics, it doesn't mean that they don't have any good workouts. So I am very excited and intrigued to try this new weightlifting program that they're talking about. Let's quickly talk about the day. You could see it was an early one. I had a client in Manhattan at 7.15. I was actually supposed to have a client at 10.45 back here in Astoria, but she is sick today. So we just canceled that session. There must be something going around. I feel like everyone is sick, including my husband. So now I actually have a huge break until 12 when I have a virtual client. Then I'm filming a kettlebell workout for a new kettlebell program in the Fit Club in January. I have another virtual client at 2.15 and then we're doing Shanti's Dig Deeper. I feel like Monday and Tuesday were so busy this week. So I'm excited for today because it seems like it's a little easier. Even though I did have such an early wake up, I'm done a lot earlier. And then tomorrow and Friday also look pretty light. So I feel like I can breathe. I got, <laughs> I feel like I got a little nervous. I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired already. Let's make some breakfast, have some more coffee and we're just gonna get some admin work done until uh, about 12. ready to work out. Oh, we're ready to work out. <laughs> so I'll pop up the video here that we will be doing. It is the only one from Dig Deeper that is even out yet. And before we even jump in, I wanna get some of the talking done at the beginning because I don't wanna sit here and talk for like an hour at the end. But something we're gonna talk about later is, is this workout science backed? And this is the first workout that has any claims made in terms of results. So I wanna talk about what the claims are at the beginning. And then after we do the workout, we can assess if they are actually supported. So if we look at the thumbnail of the video, it says lift heavy, get shredded and build muscle. So those are kind of three different claims right there. Lift heavy means that we're probably gonna be lifting weights that are heavy relative to our strength. Always remember that heavy means something different to everybody and it's dependent on the exercise. Overhead pressing for somebody, heavy might be five pounds. For another person, that might be 50 pounds. I have plenty of weights to choose from at home, so I'm sure that I'm gonna be able to lift heavy. Next claim is get shredded. So shredded to me means like muscle definition. A big part of that is building muscle, and if we're actually lifting heavy, we should be able to accomplish that over time with consistency and with the right programming. And then the other part of that is gonna be nutritionally based, which we're obviously not gonna talk about in this workout video, but again, shredded to me is like, it's kind of the male version of toning, I guess. It's basically just like building muscle and losing fat to see the muscle underneath. And then the last claim is build muscle, which relates right back to the get shredded because 
you need to build muscle to get shredded. And when I think building muscle, I think of hypertrophy. So that is when you're working to gain visible muscle on the body. Typically with hypertrophy, you are gonna train three to five sets of an exercise for six to 12 reps. More recent studies have shown that hypertrophy can be gained outside of that rep range. But if we're thinking really like traditional, that's going to be the set and rep range. It is going to be compound movements with isolation exercises. So not a lot of combination moves, if any, not really cardio based. You're gonna have plenty of rest time. And if we're going like true bodybuilder, you'll see some isometric work in there too, or holding positions within exercises. Let's look at the description. All right, so most of this is just talking about Sean T, but this part right here about this specific workout, this sample workout is split into three sections, just like the program itself to give you a taste of what awaits. Get ready to lift heavy, torch fat, and build the body of your dreams. We already talked about lift heavy, torch fat, I don't love that part, but I do love the idea of using heavy weights to change your body composition, especially with women. A lot of what's geared toward us is like, okay, if you want to change your body composition, if you want to get shredded or toned, you have to do lightweight, high rep. There's nothing wrong with those things, but I do love the beach body, which is more of a company in my opinion that's like geared toward women is launching a program like this. Because even though there has been a lot of advances of like encouraging women to lift weights and lift heavy weights relative to them, obviously we talked about what heavy means already, but I still think that there's like a lot of fear with women on getting like bulky or whatever. So enough dilly dallying. I'm gonna preview of this. This looks like it's from the 1980s. Okay, let's just start. <laughs> she went away on Christmas day. Let's get comfy. Let's do a little recap. I wanna start with the science-backed portion of this. We already kind of broke down what that means in regards to the claims being made. And I actually think, especially because in the description it said like there's three different, what did they say exactly? Three sections, just like the program itself. So it's giving us a taste of three different, I would assume phases of programming because what we started with here was more strength endurance. So higher rep, very little rest time and more circuit style. Then we moved into more like time under tension, slow twitch muscle fibers, and that's going to be like the higher end of our hypertrophy, so around 12 reps. And then we moved into our bread and butter strength training, which was lower rep and heavier weight. And when you're going through a program, like I have no idea how long this program is, but you do want to phase your programming, meaning you don't want to be doing the same thing forever. The reason for that is because exercise is a stress and your body will adapt to stress over time. So over time, you want to change your programming so that your body can continue to adapt and change. It's also a really great way to avoid overuse, avoid overtraining, and potentially avoid injury. Now, does this mean that you want to do a different workout every single time you work out? No. That's why on a lot of the programming that I do online, we do pretty much the same format of workouts, but we just kind of progress things a little bit each week. For example, let's say one week we're working on reverse lunges and we're holding the weight goblet position. Well, then the next week we're going to do reverse lunges again, but but maybe now we're holding it in an offset position. Then maybe the next week we elevate the front foot. So you see, we're still working on reverse lunges, but because I'm in more of a group fitness setting, I have to think about, well, how do I keep this interesting, keep people coming back, but we are still working in kind of the same phase of programming. So it kind of seems like that's the idea of what this program would look like. And I think that's really, really awesome. A lot of the elements that we talked about before we tried the workout were definitely there. Like we were definitely working in a hypertrophy range when we got to the build portion of the workout. We absolutely had some more 
like isolated or accessory movements. So with those supersets of the bicep curl and they were doing tricep dips, but with my shoulder, I know I can't handle that. So I was doing skull crushers. And then in the circuits, we had some big compound lifts like the sumo squat. So all of those things, check, check, check off the list. Here was my big issue. It was actually with the build section. I kind of understand why they put it at the very end, because if you have people who are used to beach body programming coming in and they're just doing like three sets of six of incline chest press, like that's probably not gonna sell very well because it's not like super glamorous or anything. Like it's very simple. So even though I would have actually, I would have inversed everything. I would have started with the build section, get your like pure strength, your heaviest lifting out of the way, then moved into the isolated stuff and then moved into the circuit training. Cause that's gonna be a little bit more like cardiovascularly charged, endurance charged anyway. So I just actually would have flipped everything around, but I understand why they did that. They're trying to appeal to people who are used to their group fitness classes. So you gotta start with the thing that feels like group fitness and kind of ease them into the like building stuff. So I get that. But in the building workout and you saw me come to the camera twice, he gave us, I think it was like 23 and 30 seconds of rest between those heavy ass sets. That is insane. Now, I don't know if that is because this is a promo and he's just trying to give people a taste and get us through it, but I will tell you something, this man can talk and he could have easily talked for a whole minute and I wouldn't have even noticed that we were taking a minute break. So I would be very curious to see if the actual programming in the build portion has proper rest time. With proper like hypertrophy training, you do one, I would say between one to three minutes of rest. Three is gonna be like on the really high end. I would say that's getting more into like max strength strength realm. If you can do the exact same thing on your next set with the same amount of fatigue, with the same weight, the same rep range, with 23 seconds of rest, you're not going heavy enough and you're not actually going to build muscle. Because we have to remember that the body adapts to specificity. Like whatever specific stimuli you're putting in, that's what the body's going to adapt to. That would be my only like red flag of this whole thing. So simply because of the rest time thing, and that is such a huge, huge, huge factor in strength training, I am going to give this a four out of five for it being science backed. Let's talk about enjoyment. If you can't tell, I really enjoyed it. I'm just super salty that it was in a beach body program. <laughs> I actually loved Sean's energy. He He's over the top, like he's playing a character, but I feel like you kind of have to do that when it's group fitness. You know, you have like your persona, your alter ego, and he was just a lot of fun. Like he was definitely distracting me from how difficult and how challenging the workout was, but in a good way. Like he took my mind off of the pain while also still bringing the attention to what I should be feeling. And that was another great thing. He really had a good balance of like, hey, I'm fun, I'm silly. Now we're gonna get to work and I'm gonna explain to you what muscles you should be feeling, why we're doing this, and what the outcome will be. Definitely like a lot of body checking, which I don't know, I guess I didn't mind because I was just like, it's beach body, like what do you expect? But it was a lot of like, zoom in on my abs right here. And like, whatever, if you're proud of your body, you're proud of your body, like I'm not gonna shame anybody for that. And I think I was okay with it because it was never like, if you do this, you'll look like me. It was more like, hey, this is the style of programming that I do to get to my physique and I'm gonna share that with you. Like it it never felt, it never felt like the girls who like, <laughs> their head is out of frame in a TikTok and they're like, mm, look at my belly. Here's what I eat in a day to get to my belly. You know what I'm saying? Like it didn't feel like that. So for enjoyment, I am gonna give this a five out of five. <gasps> Chrissy Sella. Is that how you say her name? I have always wanted to try one of her workouts and I've just never had the opportunity. Yay, that was so fun. I have to tell you guys, this is like the most, my most favorite part of the day. I love picking something out of that silly little bowl over there. I'm gonna be kind of sad that I'm not gonna get to everything. That would be like over a year's worth of workouts. So tomorrow we are doing Chrissy Sella. I will, I will take a peek at her stuff overnight. I know she has a ton of free content online, so I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna gear myself towards a lower body day. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment box below and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any more of these workout reviews. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. No lonely heart.